Welcome to another quick tutorial in Cinema 4D. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to create naked eye 3D screen using the anamorphic view. Before we start, we need to know the size of the screen. So here is an example of what we need in order to start our project. First, add our plane and set the same size as our screen. In my case, I'm gonna use a standard one. Now rotate it 90 degrees and increase the segments. Perfect. Now let's add band and drag it under the plane. Okay, rotate the band minus 90 degrees. Perfect. Now set the band size to fit the screen. Something like this. And then uh, you set the position where you want uh, your screen to bend. So I'm gonna use 90 degrees and minus 90 degrees, the angle, something like this. And now we need to uh, raise our plane from the ground. I'm gonna use around 6 meters from the ground. So now we add the camera, make an angle of 44 or 45 degrees and the focal length around 60 and 80 millimeters. I'm going to use 70, something like this. Now make sure we position it our screen like this. And we need to raise the camera from the ground around one meter and 80 centimeters around at the same as a human size I'm gonna use around 185 something like this okay this looks pretty good now we need to duplicate the screen and make a front screen like this one okay something like this perfect now we need to position it, uh, the camera to fit the front screen perfectly. So something like this will be just fine. Okay, now we have our scene created. Yeah, this looks great. Now that we have our scene created, uh, let's add the rotation tag for the camera. Okay. And hide the front screen, we will need it later. So now that we have our background, we need to create our animation here. It is going to be the animation. So I'm gonna use a floor. and something like this okay now let's add a light you can create any kind of animation you want make sure we will fit only the screen and the ceiling I'm gonna create a short animation
something like this now that we have our animation make uh, the front screen editable create a new material and add it to our front screen and lock the UV okay and now let's add another UV projection okay something like this oh, where is it now okay now let's go to material tag and to the projection and select camera mapping and drag the camera there perfect now let's export our animation you can use uh, jpg or png format create a new folder and save the project make sure you have 30 frame rates and all the frames of your animation perfect now we have our mission complete we need to copy the camera and the front view and create a new project and copy and paste it there something like this it should look something like this now let's go to our material uh, go to luminance and import our render select all the images and go to okay something like this calculate go to the camera and we need to to material tag and we need to calculate the camera yes something like this as you can see if we, if we uncheck the band it will look something like this because the projection is still on the previous project okay now let's duplicate our screen okay and let's connect the band and the screen together something like this perfect delete the first material we don't need it and now let's add the protection tag perfect now let's Let's copy all the files and create a new project. Perfect. Let's go to our screen and add a bake material. Go to the bake material and add the same size as your screen. And select your output format. I'm gonna use GPG. And now select your destination. Create a new folder, this is the final render. Okay. Now let's go to option and select luminance. Go to details and select the end time of your animation and the frame rate. And drag and drop the material. Perfect. Now let's go to option and bake it now that we are done let's copy the camera and the first plane and create a new project and add it there now delete the material and create a new material drag it to our screen and go to luminance and add uh, the final render there it should look something like this okay no we have to calculate all the frames okay something like this and we are done thank you for watching